Morning all, Jamie here. Well, we've got a first uh, win of the lockdown. Let's have a bit of a chat. Welcome to the Foxes Aftermath Show. Morning all, how is everyone? Hope you're well, hope you're good. What's everyone's thoughts on yesterday's game? Because I think most people were quite happy with it. So come on then, what's all your thoughts? You tell me. Morning Carl, morning Anne, Dawn, Craig, uh, Andreas, Carl, Ross, how are you? Anybody that wants to come in, I'll put a link in for you to watch. So if you want to, uh, to click on, so if you want to come and have a chat live, Come and have a chat with me. We'll start with yesterday. What more do we want than three points? And we played a bit better. Morning, Lisa and Kev. How are you? Morning, Nick. Yes, Colin. Great win. Gray was pretty, but wasn't pretty. But three points is three points. Yes. So what's everyone's what's everyone's view then? We've seemed to got a lot. We needed that. If I already needed that as well. I and mean, we'll start with a 3-0. Do you know that we've scored 41 second half goals this season? Out of 63 goals, 41. So it's just about patience. Morning, Matthew. How are you? Don't forget, click the link on the comments above and you can come and join in and have your point of view if you went. Hi, mate. As an Everton fan, I thought Vardy should have been dropped, but he's pat. Yeah, a lot of people, even a few Leicester fans, um, were thinking that as well. So hopefully, we'll be all right. He's back. Hopefully, it's not just a bit of a flash in the pan. It'll start scoring goals more regular. If you're the Facebook user, you've got to click on the link. Oh, I can't see your name. Sorry. I don't quite think it was a 4-4-2, Ross, to be honest. Uh, I love a bit of 4-4-2. What didn't quite work out? Morning, Stephen. How are you? Yes, Stephen. Uh, Steve Shepherd. We do need to be back on it on Tuesday. That's a good thing. Um, who would be your man of the match? Everyone's man of the match. Mick Collins makes a good point. Where is it? There it is. At half time, didn't look like a 3 0, but I'll take it. Yes. Well, we seem to be a second half team, don't we? We definitely seem to be a second half team more than anything the last few, uh, last seasons. Last couple of seasons, we seem to score a lot of goals in the second half. So hopefully. Morning, mate. If you're a Facebook user, I can't see your name. You've got to click on the link to allow. So I'll stream you to show your name. Um, but yeah, so a decent 3-0 win. Plan B wasn't the plan B I thought it was going to be. Did anyone expect did anyone to ex expect uh, Brendan to change it to a back three? Because I didn't. I didn't think he I didn't think he was going to change it to a back three. It wasn't the plan plan B I thought it was going to be. Um, but yeah, it's three points. That's all we need. Will he keep five at the back? Will he keep five at the back against Arsenal? Kevin, hold on. I've lost it here. Too many fans are blinking by results. Win, draw equals great. Equals great. Defeat equals sack the manager. Right. I should have read that one first, to be honest. Morning, Reese. How are you? Um... Vardy needs Nacho. Yes, true. He needs a man up top. I agree on there. I thought Nacho did play well. Evans. I see. I gave Evans in the show yesterday. I gave Evans my man of the match. Morning, Craig. How are you? My Irish Fox. How the devil are you? Please click on the link if you want to join in the show and put your views on. This is the place to do it. So yeah, you've got to click on the link, though, David. I know who you are. But you need to click on the link so your name comes up. Right, okay then. So right, someone's put a comment there that I probably didn't want to see. Um, Vardy needs that. Look, he did, didn't he? Look more confident than ever. When he scored that first goal, he had that storming run for the second goal, for his second goal, and he looked fantastic. He looked, he looked back to his old self, touch, but before then, his touch was still off. But I've never known a game so different. The last couple of weeks, the games, we have one good half and one bad half. So hopefully, we can now build it up so we get 
an hour, a decent hour. Instead of just 45 minutes, have a decent hour, a decent go. Morning, John. How are you? Hope you're well. If you want to click on the link, then come and have your say. Matthew, you coming in today? Anybody coming in? Um, do you do you think the subs were changed at the right time? He actually, I think he made his decent, he made the subs right. Morning, Mark. How are you? Will Rogers go back go back three on Tuesday? As Arsenal will do the same. Do you think so? Do you think Arsenal will play? Do you think we'll do Arsenal on Tuesday? I hope so, Craig. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? A point would be nice. It is. It's as as the boss says, it's nice to finally have three points. And did everyone go out celebrating? Or did everyone stay at home? Yuri's cross. These are comments I'm just bringing up and I'm speaking about every comment. You're his cross for Nacho's goal with his weaker foot. was superb? Right in that corridor of uncertain, right corridor of uncertainty, or whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called now. In between the defender and the last man, but the goalkeeper did make a bit of a pig's ear of it, didn't he? Um, he, he for sure to stretch for it. Lisa Kev, some majority majority last from up there. The classic. Classic Vardy goal. Yes, it was classic Vardy goal. Did well to keep on side. Cool, I've got a dry mouth this morning. Too much talking. Right, question for you. That we have been trying to find out. Vardy has scored 101 goals now in the Prem. Three of them have been from outside the box. What are the three goals from outside the box? We've managed to get two. But I can't... We can't get the third one. So, come on then. Morning, Paul. How are you? Hope you're well. Morning, Wayne. How are you? It was a good result yesterday. So, three. Hold on. Yeah, we got that one, Brett. We got that one. And then there's one more. There's two more. But we can't think of the other. We've got the Liverpool one for definite. 100% the Liverpool one. Well, then we can't think of... We've got the other next one, but I'm not going to tell you unless you, somebody tells it. And then we can't get the third and final one. So, come on then, all you uh, football statos out there. Liverpool scream up. We, we all know how that was in the championship winning season, wasn't it? The Premier, championship, the Premiership winning season. I'll just put the link in. No one wants no one wants to talk to me this morning. It seems a bit of a sad state of affairs. No one wants to talk to me. I hope people want to come and have a chat. It would be nice. Yeah. We've got that one, Alex. Yeah. Bournemouth. There we go. I wouldn't say it was, I wouldn't say it was a chip. It was more of a, a lob, wasn't it? Everton away. New Year's Day. Was that outside the box? I thought that was more inside the box. Mark, are you on about the one over his shoulder? Where Mares put the ball over. See, we said that one, but we think it was in just inside the box. We're not sure. We're not 100% sure on that, but I said that one. Can't see the link. Not that I'm... I keep putting it on, but it's not coming on. Oh, well, I thought to put it on. Let me give it one more go. Spurs at home. That was in. They are. There's the link. There we go. Even Karen didn't click the link. She says your fans. <laughs> yeah, it was nice curry last night, Adrian. It really was. Um, do oh, here's one for you. Harvey Barnes has now got. Yeah, the one against Bournemouth. We got that one. Watford, Facebook user, I don't, I can't see your name on there, pal. Which, Watford, one of which game? Yes, Dave, man of the back. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to click it, Phil. I don't think no one's brave enough to come on. It's too early. They've probably all been to the boozers last night and a bit hungover. Yeah, Bournemouth this year. We've got the Liverpool and Bournemouth one. Well, did, well to answer that one, Bazza. I think, uh, also, wrong comment. 
How do you think Chilwell played yesterday? Came on a bit of stick in recent games. I think he's a good player. I think he just needs a bit of a rest. So, I'm not sure. Uh, I've, he's a good player, but I'm glad Fuchs came. And I thought Fuchs played well. So, oh, what? oh, do we start early then? Do we? Oh, yeah, we're the late kickoff, aren't we? Chelsea could go third then. Hopefully that doesn't stop the confidence. Oh, here we go. Here's Ross. Ross is just doing his ear. Let's bring Ross in. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Ross. <laughs> you were just doing your ear before you came on. Yeah, I've not long been ill. I've just put a shirt on, so I've put me a classic retro one. <laughs> um, That's cool, then, Ross. What did you think yesterday? Well, do you know what? I thought the game changes with the subs at half time. Ryan Bennett. Yeah, yeah. Considering his debut was, well, that was his debut, considering yeah, we yeah. got him in January. That's the longest debutant for a while. So, it's, not, it wasn't, he, it's only been on the bench, has it, really? Hasn't no, even it's, been, no, he's obviously he's not hardly it. played now. He's, um, we've been playing well, well up until the turn of the year, we've been playing well. But I thought, I thought Tillman's had a good game yesterday. So, obviously, you know, he's been playing poor recently. Um, I thought he had a good, good cross. It was a weak cross as well, but, you know, they all going. Yeah. I, I was, I'm happy with already getting the 100th and 101st goal. But I'm more happy that Kelechi scored again. Yes. Because he keeps scoring. He hasn't scored. I mean, since Brendan's come in, I think he's been a lot better player. A yeah, lot yeah. Better. Oh, yeah, yeah. All he's you definitely... need is that one goal, you said. All you need is that one goal. Against, he's scored a few against Villa. He's got a few against Arsenal. He's got, he's, well, we've got Arsenal coming up. We've got a few coming up. So hopefully, I mean, with Vardy, Vardy now with Vinacho, hopefully they can bang in the goals. And we've got Arsenal. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? I can't remember. Tuesday night, nine o'clock. Uh, eight o'clock your time. <laughs> Eight o'clock, right? Okay, fair enough. Hopefully, I mean, right, I, I think we should stick with Ryan Bennett sticking and going in the team. Um, yeah, yeah. When Chilwell came off, I know obviously everyone's going on about Chilwell, but since he came off, it's a bit ironic that we actually score for a win. <laughs> it's a bit ironic. Played a bit, played a bit better, didn't we? Morning, exactly. Locke. How are you? Morning. Yeah, good. How are you? So, Ross has been talking about um, Bennett. What do you think of Bennett? Do you think he should get a game on Wednesday or uh, Tuesday night in that back three? Uh, yeah, especially if we're playing a back three. Uh, obviously, someone mentioned it last night how, he, you know, Wolves have been playing it for years and, and obviously he's used to it. Um, so it was the perfect time for him to come on yesterday um, and, and make his debut, you know, in that back three. So, yeah, I think if we play that um, that system on Tuesday, you know, there's there's no reason not to, to have him in there. Um, you know, you mentioned Chilwell <laughs> again, obviously. Um I don't know if he's going to be fit. Obviously, he had a knock yesterday. Will he start? Um, but I would play Fuchs anyway. Uh, another good game yesterday when he came on. You know, obviously, he weren't on for long, but he did what he does. And, and yeah, why not? So, and, and Ross, Barnes, what do you think to Barnes yesterday? He came on, got two. Because did you know that that's twice now he's set up uh, Vardy for his 100th and 101st goal? Yeah. He did it for, against Fulham, didn't he when, he, when Vardy scored for the club goals? Yes, so he knows correct. when to come up on the spotlight. So what do you think to Barnes then? I think sometimes Barnes plays better when he comes on. Not all the time. Sometimes I think some yeah. days. Uh, when, when that one against Villa, well, the last time before the pandemic happened, he scored two goals, and I think he set up. I think it was one. I think. I think, but, one um, of them, yeah. I think the problem is with Barnes. He's, he's right footed. In, he's left footed, isn't he? No. What? Right footed. He's, I'm not sure. What? Left or right foot? He is. I believe he might be right footed, but that could be wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're fans and we don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I keep thinking he's left footed and he keeps scoring with his right foot. So I, I don't know if he's, if he's, um, I'm an extra, where he can use both. I don't know. But no, I, th I think sometimes with Harvey Barnes, he just, he needs, I think he's better when he, sometimes when he comes on. He's right footed, um, by the way, right footed. Oh, oh you've just Googled you. it, have you lost? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Or did you go on FIFA to go have a look at that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. I think Barnes does play better when he comes on. Because yesterday, I, I think, like I said, the, the change of the game was Ryan Bennett coming on. And then Tillman's crossing in, in the actual score. And, and then, well, back to Saka. I mean, <laughs> thanks for that. Um, you know. I, said to, I said to my missus before the game, <laughs> that Saka, if there's only one person that makes a mistake and gives us a goal, then it's going to be him. And he did. He did, didn't he? Slips over. He's got... it's the only downside to the 100 for 100 first goal is it wasn't played in in front of fans, I think that would have been obviously you know can't in the minute, but I think it would have been nice um, for it. So hopefully Wednesday and it's Arsenal, the club. Tuesday, I know you just put up Tuesday, Ross. Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. I'm, I'm, Do you I'm think Ross, that we should still play Vardy and Nacho up front? 
Um, what, on, on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, well, I, somebody put on the comments here for the rest of the season. I think it, it's a bit more of an attacking lineup, isn't it? If we play three at the back, then we can play two up front as well. I think it helped. It works out well for Vardy, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it worked well yesterday, obviously, before the, the change, obviously, even when we, you know, it was 4 4 2 or whatever it was. Um, it's one of, I mean, we said it yesterday, it just gives us another man to aim for in the box if we are kind of whipping the balls in. Uh, as well, obviously, if you've got Tielemans kind of trying to trying to get the ball through into the into the, into their box. So, yeah, I, I think we should. I think we should play that on. And I would play the three at the back as well, obviously, on Tuesday. Uh, I just want to go back to something Ross said as well about, obviously, Barnes, um, how how you think he makes more of an impact when he comes off the bench. But have you noticed? I mean, it has been a lot of our players. It's been a lot of our players this, this like recently. Obviously, they've, they've, you know, Gray, for example, when they've come on off the, off the bench, um, much more impact than, than obviously when, when they start. So, yeah, I mean, who would you play? Would you play Barnes? Would you start Barnes, Jamie? Or I would start the same team that finished yeah. on Tuesday night. That's how I think. That's probably the best thing, I think. Start the same team and yeah, give it a go from there and try and make changes. I mean, I love Michael Brighton, but it wasn't quite his game yesterday, unfortunately. No, no, agreed, yeah. Go with Barnes, what, I would, yeah. What would you do? How would you play the game on Tuesday? Tuesday, that is, Ross. Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday, yes. I mean, obviously, we're away at Arsenal. I mean, with one thing, we've not won at Arsenal away in... Oof. A long time. Well, I think before I was born, <laughs> and I'm 26. Um, <laughs> so it's it's tough tough game on on Tuesday, um, Tuesday against, <laughs> against Arsenal. I, free at the back against Arsenal. I mean, they they they, was, they beat Wolves up like yesterday. That was a big result for them. Um, that's kind of like an upset in a, in a way. Um, so obviously Arsenal have been playing for poor. I'd I'd start with the same team, but you just said then locks about uh, people coming on the subs. When we beat Villa 4 0, Vardy didn't even start, he came on and scored too. So yeah, just go, yeah. sometimes I think they just need the odds coming on as a sub and then starting. Not all the here's, time, just sometimes. Here's one for you from Wayne. What about Madison if he's fit? Would you start him or would you put him on the bench? Because when he came on against Everton, he didn't look fit to me, to be honest. He looked a bit unfit that second half he came on. So whether no. his hip injury was a bit, but if he's fit, would you start him? Yeah, Steve as well. Two comments up. Obviously, he said, "Did we miss Madison um, uh, yesterday?" Obviously, we you know we didn't. You know, we can say that we won three nil. Um, you know, we, we we didn't miss him. But yeah, I think I don't I don't see him being fully fit for for Tuesday. I don't think there's any chance of that really if he's not even made the bench again today. But um, if he is fully fit, like you said, would you change that side that you know that pummeled Palace at, at the end? I, I don't think I don't think you would. Uh, hold on, sorry. I've just made a bit of a cock up. Ross, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, it's all right. Something, it's all right. Uh, just yeah, say that again. My alarm, my, my alarm went off. <laughs> oh, did it? Oh, that's why my phone went off. Yeah. I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's because my alarm went off. <laughs> ah, right. Here's Mark. Mark Charles. He, he's not. I, I think he'll be quite pleased because Chilwell's not. I don't think Chilwell will be playing. He's not the best. He's not the favourite of Chilwell's. So, do you think he's getting a rough end of the stick, Chilwell? Or do, as, is he deserving what the. Uh, the Non praise he's getting. Flops gone. Yeah, yeah, I'll go. Um, I mean, uh, other players recently haven't been performing, you know, to their best either. It's not just Chilwell, but I think Chilwell's one of them who you can kind of um, pick out a bit easily because he's, well, it, 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 he's consistently not great <laughs> at the minute. Yeah, he's not, is he? He doesn't seem to be as as good, does he? I mean, here's uh, LCFC Gray, bench matters, which, yeah, I think starting from the bench and, and bring him on, I think that could be a good a good tactic. It gives that a bit of impotence at the end. The last 15, 20 minutes, if we're, if we're losing 1-0 or something, we need that bit of a spark. It might work for us. Um, but uh, do you agree with this one, then, from Jack? Just oh, talking yes. about signings. <laughs> to yes. right. I can't see, as much as I would like him to be there, I'm not sure that'd be the right kind of start. I can't see him leaving Wolves anyway, really. Could you? Oh, no. That'd be you, should talk, you talk about a sign you'd love to have. That's one sign I've been crying out for a while. I don't have a triore. Right? The pace he's got. The one thing he needs to work on, though, is his, is his crossing. Take what If he works on his crossing, I don't know if, um, if you went locks when we played Wolves away this season on Valentine's Day. We um, 
because I went with my dad, and my dad was just like that. Dharma Trokes, obviously, he's on FIFA, he's like the beast, but in real life, he's great at pace, he just can't cross. If he works on his crossing, wow, it would be incredible. But yeah, I'd love to see our dad try well, so You put your dad to a game on Valentine's Day, surely you should have taken your missus, shouldn't you? Well, I, I ain't gonna miss this. Um, oh, well, sorry, I thought you did. Well, I'm, I'm seeing someone, but I'm just saying that at the time. Me, my, <laughs> my son uh, was looked after by my mum, so me, my dad went on Valentine's right. Day. Okay. We didn't actually talk. We didn't actually tell my mum until two days before the game. Um. So I'll probably be going. So you can't <laughs> get out of it. But no, no, no yeah. would be a good. Uh, that'd be amazing. But you know, you can only people say, "Oh, we can't sign these people." But let's not forget, Esteban Cambiaso was at Inter Milan, which was a, a still a massive club. We signed yeah, yeah, yeah. For three. Let's not forget that. And he was one of our best players that season. And to go back and what you said then, outside the box, West Brom away, I'm going to have a guess. The goal of the season. The one over, the one over his shoulder. No, yeah, it's when Mares lifted it up and he See, wasn't even that, looking. I thought that was just inside. Yeah, uh, definitely. That one. The only two that we've definitely got is Liverpool. We know the Liverpool one. Yeah. And the Bournemouth one from this year. But we can't actually work out oh. who's the, who no. the other one is. It's a yeah. It is. We have to watch every single goal to see which one's outside the box. Some people are saying Everton. You can do but... that over the week. Over this I week, might... you watch every single left goal for him. Uh, I might do it after this. After this, yeah. I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go get me sausage muffins, and then I'm gonna have a look. Have a sausage look. muffins? You mean sausage sarnie? Well, it's muffins. It's them ones that Michael, my son loves them, so he's staying behind <laughs> tonight. So I've got to go and get some before I start work. So I thought I'd do it. Um, but no, I, I think I think we should bench matters on Wednesday. I mean, it didn't look. Um, some players, but you know, when they're not starting or anything, they always look a bit annoyed or anything. He didn't look like annoyed to me. He looked like he obviously he was like a fan, um, yeah, yeah. a fan. So I, I personally think he'd be on bench on Wednesday if he Tuesday if he's fit. Um, and but if he's not fit, then he's not. Then, but I'd love to see the team that finished the game. I think Ryan Bennett has got a bit of points to prove and. That Jamie Lee Ross's private life. <laughs> 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 I've just read, I've just read um, as well. <laughs> There's one here, uh, Nick Moore, Ward Prowse and from Southampton. Would you take him next year? Would you have? Oh, sorry, would you take them next year? You think they'd yeah. be decent? Yeah, definitely. I'd, I, obviously, Ward Prowse might be the easier, the easier one to get out of them too. Uh, Ings is going to be. Well, I'm, I'm sure there'll be a couple of clubs in for Ings, maybe. Um, um, Josh on on Friday night, obviously on, on mine and Josh's show, he mentioned it. Um, obviously about Ings. You know, he, he would be a good kind of good player to either sit up there with Vards or, or to come off, you know, to, to come on instead of him. Um, it, you know, he's a great player in, in the past, you know, past couple of years. He's shown what he can do. Um, I don't know how he's not playing at Liverpool still, but, you know, that's it's one of them things that happens all the time. It's like us with Kramaric, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when we let Kramaric go. So if we if we were to sign one of them, you know, either of them, I think it would be a good sign. And if we could get both, then... Yeah, even better. I mean, it looks like you've got Bournemouth and Norwich are the two definite ones to go down. Would you yes. take any? Would you take any of the Bournemouth or Norwich players? Would you be considered yes. one of them? Yeah. Who would you? Who would you like to have in the left? If you could, who would you like to have? Callum Wilson. Um, I think he's not. He he wouldn't start um, over Vardy. We know that. Um, you know, in in previous seasons, he's been better than he has been this season. But he's he's still a, he's still a good player. Yeah. Um, and I'm just trying to think if there are any others I would I would Ross, probably what's take. Your feelings, Bournemouth and Norwich definitely go down, which looks like they might do. Who would you would you try and snap up one of them? Anybody? I'll go, with that, I'll go with that Brooks. Yeah, that yes. one <clears throat> plays a bomb. Now, obviously, I've got a, quite a few of my best friends that are Sheffield United fans, and they so and I've seen him play a few times on telly and stuff, and he's cracking. And then when he went to Bournemouth, he think that's a bit warm, but he's been outstanding. For me, I personally take Brooks. I, I would say Fraser, but. The problem is, he's saying he was refusing to play on all that stuff. I, I wouldn't take him. Well, well they've bombed him out, haven't they? He's not there no more. They've actually bombed no, him no, out. No, is it? No, it's no he's gone. So he's a free agent, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, what about though, Nathan Ake? Do you think you'd want to take Nathan Ake? Yes. Mm. Nathan Ake is a great <laughs> centre half. Yeah. And as yeah, well, yeah. Um, Campwell. Campwell from Norwich. Um, young lad. Not not very consistent at the minute, but, you know, yeah. going forward, he, he could be in the future. There's a few uh, rich pickings there that we could have off the. Uh, Okay. If you think it's going to be them two that go down, it's the look certainties, don't you? Who are you hoping for to go down? Oh, 
Yeah, I want West Ham. West, oh, oh no, oh no, the two teams I definitely want to go down because I've got a few people I don't like and their fans of West Ham. We've only got one choice, Ross, because West Ham. Well, um, I would say Norwich and Bournemouth for going down there, but I think definitely hundred percent West Ham. I, I just think I, I, you know, since they moved into that Olympic Stadium, as they've been poor, and I, nothing would make me happier than see them get relegated. <laughs> so, so uh, I, yes, thank, thank, yes, they did a favour the other day, but uh, we don't expect favours. Yeah. I really want them to get relegated. And Villa. Villa, 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 yeah. So it's two Claret and blue teams, no matter what, isn't it? At the, <laughs> someone's, just putting, someone's just putting comments about Aaron's from Norwich, that right back. Mm. Oh yeah. Um, only problem is though, we've, obviously, yes, Ricardo's out for a bit, but James Justin's there as well. I mean, be a bit, yeah. bit competition if we got him. He's a good player to be for that runs. He is, isn't he? There's a few. I think a lot of the clubs will be uh, trying to find players. And just going back and going, we've been on done the relegation about Champions League now. What? Do, how many points do you think you two think we need to get into the Champions League place? And we've got what five games left, and yeah. the, we've got the toughest. According to Sky Sports, we've got the toughest running. Go in. You're not, you're not, you're not kidding. After you know, you've got four teams that are still going for that. So, how many points do you think we need? I mean, how, how, how many? How many yeah. Computer. Yeah. Is it is it six games or five games left? Five games left. Fifteen five, points. Bournemouth, Sheffield, Tottenham. Five, five. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think seven. Do we know how many mathematically we need, or is it just gap? Or is it? Well, I think mathematically we can still drop down to about. 12th, I think. Well, the thing is, though, 11. Chelsea, oh. the thing is, though, Chelsea oh, play Wolves. On the final day, we play Manchester United and Chelsea play Wolves. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not only that as well. You talk, I, I, as much as I hate to, I hate to disagree with Sky Sports, but we have got toughest running. Arsenal, they've got, obviously, yeah. creeping up with it. Um, Bournemouth is fighting for the lives. You've got Sheffield United, a very, uh, you know, very team that have surprises all the. All right, you've gone again. You've got again, Ross. For some am I, am I oh, oh, yeah. And my alarm again. Um, personally, yeah. I think the um, most improved team this season is Sheffield United. I think Chris Wilder should get manager of the season, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, and then you've got Tottenham away. I mean, it's not hard to beat Tottenham, but I'm just, you know, still. Um, and then Manchester United, obviously, they're I think, you know, the I think Anthony's a bit optimistic, isn't he? 15 out of 15. Listen, if, if we get 15 points and get, bring that comment back up in a few weeks' time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happy. no, I, I agree with what you you said, Ross. I think seven points might do it for us. Um, but I think to be safe, to guarantee it, we should aim for ten. I don't, you know, we, we need to aim for as much as possible. Um, Wolves, I know they lost last night, but you know that they have been great since coming back from from the restart. Uh, Manchester United are just incredible at the minute. Um, we need to get as many points on the board as we can. Otherwise, we're still be looking at on you, Ross. Well. <laughs> Keep that quiet, that one. <laughs> but Adrian's just put then about Sheffield United with a few key, key players injured. I mean, they absolutely destroyed Tottenham the other night. It was one of their best did, bombs of the season. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, did. obviously that VAR stuff and all that, but end of the day, Sheffield United deserved that win. Like I said, a few of my best mates have been saying it's going to be a very interesting game. Yeah. Um, yeah. As well, just, Reece, Reece is disagreeing. You want to actually agree with Reese? I think nah. Klopp will get the manager this I, year. Well, yeah, yeah, because obviously he's won the Premier League. Yeah. Last year, last year Wilder got the LMA manager um, of the season one, and he was in the championship at that time. Um, yeah, yeah. So, my opinion, I think he will get it. I mean, I hate, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Sheffield United, but I think, I think Wilder would get it anyway. So, yeah. Now, yesterday, Jack yeah. got the score spot on. He said 3 0, uh, Vardy with oh, two, wow. and Nacho with one. So, we got it spot on. So, I oh, think. Wow. I think we have to go with Jack's comment there of we need seven points to guarantee top six. So, Jack's, Jack's been looking into his crystal ball and I think we've got to go with his decision there. I think seven um, points is about... Seven points is probably about right, I think. And also, someone's just put up here as well. Let's put it on. Goal difference. Yeah. Yes. Our goal difference is better at the minute, isn't it? Than Man U, than Chelsea, than Sheffield United by quite a, a decent amount. Yeah. I've noticed when we win this season, it, we either win by one goal or we win by about three or four or nine. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we absolutely yeah. destroy teams. I, I think set, you're right then earlier. You said second half. It's like we don't turn up in first half. In second half, we suddenly just click or we've had some two more of them energy drinks or something. I mean, what was it? It was pretty nice, like, uh, 41 out of 63 goals have been scored in the second half this year. Yeah. 
So oh, it's wow. just, I think it's just a case, I've been saying it for a while, it's patience. We just need to be patient. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, what you said about the goal difference is right. We, we've got double the goal difference of Chelsea, exactly double. Um, that's that's going to do us favours if it does come down to the wire. Um, I, I could see it coming down to the wire, you know, in terms of third place, us and Chelsea. Yeah. Um, but hopefully, yeah, hopefully we've got enough to kind of stay in the top four. Is Mark making the right comment there? Europa League, more our level? Or well, is Chelsea... No. I, mean, now, okay, let's... Oh. I don't think he's being controversial there. I think he's just mm. making a point. Is that, oh, okay. is that our level more than the Champions League? Well, let's I not forget, so. our first season in the Champions League, we were the only British side left. We were in the we, we got to the final eight. We only lost by one goal against Atletico Madrid. And the, the game in the, against Atletico Madrid in the first game was never a penalty. Um, Sorry, Rob, did you uh, see that nutmeg from Maguire yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> when he got done Shock for the it. first goal. <laughs> well, go on, sorry. I just wanted to... That made me laugh, that I did, when I saw it. £80 million pound player being made like that. Look, anyway, go on. Sorry, go on. We've got no to fear in Champions League if we're getting it again. No. Let's not forget yeah. that season. Yeah, obviously, you know, not the greatest of seasons, meaning in the league-wise, um, in four <laughs> in. But you look at the teams. I mean, we won four... We beat Porto. Yeah, they beat us 5-0, but we're not getting into that. We beat yeah, Copenhagen. Yeah. Slomani. People forget about Slomani, the Dragon Slayer. Scoring yeah, yeah. against Porto and Porto. Let's not forget Porto have won the Champions League. Let's not forget that. You know, with Copenhagen, um, we drew with them and beat them. Club Bruges, anyone can beat them. I mean, we beat them, but still. People say, oh, the easy group, but you only play what's in front of you. I mean, Sevilla, that that Europa League's their baby. And the fact that we we beat them and great save from Schmeichel for that penalty. So I you said about Europa League's more level. Yeah, if it is, it, I don't think it is. I think Champions League could be our thing because the second second time we don't, I've got the feeling we could do maybe something better. You never know. You just don't know in football. Right. I mean, we didn't think, we didn't think Tottenham would get to. Sorry, I said we didn't think Tottenham would get to the final. No, we and didn't. Did Tottenham, we? So. No. Yeah, no. I was just gonna say I do. I agree with what you're saying. Obviously, in that season we were in the Champions League, we did incredibly well. Got to the quarterfinals, wasn't it? Um, the last last British team in there. Lucky not to to go, th you know. Lucky to kind of drop out um, from from Atletico, you know. Dodgy penalty, wasn't it? It was outside the box. But um, I, I think I get what the comment was. I, I understand it, saying that is Europa League more our level it, at the minute. Yeah, I would say it probably is. Um, but that doesn't mean that if we do make the Champions League, we can't go any further than than what we did last time. So yeah, right. Last question before we before we shut uh, before we shut before I uh, finish, <laughs> I want a quick answer. Champions League, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Like, yes. 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 Yeah, we've got to do it no matter what. Then, yeah, no yeah. doubt in your minds at all. Yeah. Even I think the, I think final. Arsenal Arsenal will be a massive game, uh, even bigger. Uh, basically, every game now is a cup final. Yeah. Every game is a cup final. Arsenal, is, I think, will be a big one because again, someone put in the comments here that we've not won at Arsenal since nineteen seventy two. So, yeah. uh, so we can break that and beat them on Wednesday, on Tuesday. There's a lot of fans saying yes, yes, yes. So I think we all need to get Champions League. I think that's about right. It'd be nice to get champ, nice to get Europe, but it'd be even better to get Champions League, wouldn't it? But would you want to go to somewhere like Azerbaijan or Kazakhstan and places like that on a Thursday? On a Thursday. <laughs> well, well, that's if we're allowed. Um, well, if you're, yeah, you never know. <laughs> that's if we're allowed. But, um, anyway. But yeah, Champions yeah. League is the main one, definitely. Well, it looks like everyone's uh, agreed with you two. Right, thanks a lot for you for joining us, Ross and Locks. Hope to see you soon again. There is, I'm after the thanks shop. For now. Joining. <laughs> it's, Cheers. Uh, click on the link and join. Cheers, Ross. Cheers, Locks. Thank you. Right, just give you a quick rundown of what's going on this week. You've got the fan zone with Phil on Monday. We have got the uh, pre show and post show on Tuesday before and after the Arsenal game. The Fox's Tail on Wednesday night with Tom, with Brian Little, none other than Brian Little. And then on Thursday night, we've got Josh and Locks on their new date. I know they did it on Friday night, but they've got their new date on th every Thursday night, their fan zone show. So that's it for me. I'm glad you've uh, enjoyed the show and we shall see you again very soon. Adios all. Goodbye. Ciao, ciao. Adios. Top of the morning to you. I nearly forgot my ending then. <laughs> <laughs>